This is the plaintiff, Joseph Fisher. He says he gave the defendant a deposit on a beautiful BMW Z4, and he's still waiting for the title. That's right, he wanted to buy the car very badly, but the defendant's been giving him the runaround about getting the title, so he asked for his deposit check back. The defendant refused, and here they are. He's suing for $600. The amount of that deposit. This is the defendant, Chad Hughes. He says he told the plaintiff he had just purchased the car, and then he had to sell it before registering it because he needed the money for a funeral he had to pay for. He offered to go to the DMV with the plaintiff numerous times to get things straightened out. But the plaintiff became too impatient, then demanded a refund. Then he went to the cops claiming he was scammed. Now he's suing him, but deposits are non-refundable. He's accused of taking his sweet time. All parties, please use your ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a sweet BMW from the defendant, and the guy won't give him the title. But the defendant says the plaintiff was a slacker and also got impatient. It's the case of don't fall in love with a Beamer. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, All right. Mr. Fisher, you find a BMW in December online that you own and you were trying to sell, correct? Yes. Where, how'd you receive the BMW? I bought it off uh, online. You off, bought it online, yeah. and where, or who had you bought it from? I bought it from uh, a kid named uh, Joseph. No, Bader. but I mean, it, was it a relative of yours or something? Oh, uh, no, it just was a stranger. A stranger, yeah. And when had you bought it? I bought it in November, the last week, the, the last couple weeks in November. Okay, and uh, you were not a dealer, correct? No. So how many cars do you sell a year? Uh, none, zero. Okay. So why were you getting rid of it if you had just bought it? Uh, as soon as I bought the car, I had a death in the family. So I had to turn around and pay funeral expenses. So I was trying to get rid of it as soon as possible. Okay. I, I didn't even have time to uh, register it. I just, I just put my name on a title. And then as soon as that, that happened, the next day, there was a death in the family. Okay. So, you, right. But you can't really sell a car you don't, you, it's not registered to you. You didn't, like, complete that. So you didn't mind and you were willing to be patient but how yes. patient were you because at some point your patience ran out yeah I, I waited for quite a while what's quite a while a couple of months months yeah okay what was the delay with the months of oh uh first uh he went to florida then he came back from he florida. went to wait a second he did, <laughs> wait i'm sorry what he does has no bearing on this. You're the guy who has to provide a good title to somebody for yeah, selling a car we, we agreed to go to the dmv together when is he, when is he that accurate? Numerous times I've tried to help him out to get this taken care of. Meaning go, you guys go I together? I went and picked him up and we went to DMV. And what happened when you got there? There was a huge line and he said he was going to go back with his mother to take care of it. Okay. So I brought him back home. We went our separate ways, and I just started getting to run around from okay, there. Okay, he doesn't have to stand in line with you. He can, you know, you no, need yeah. to provide clean title. So we well, we agreed to go together. We went together. When we, when I went back home that day, I went back to the DMV and I got the title. The title then came weeks later, but before the title came, he wanted his, you know, he got. Okay, it. so you went back and you made the line alone that day. Yes. <laughs> and the do you have the title now? I do not. What happened? I donated the car. Because we donated it. Oh yeah. my gosh, he wanted that car so badly. <laughs> Would you ever buy a car from somebody who says, I'll get you the title soon? Uh, I need a car history report, I need that title, and uh, give me the Carfax. Uh, fair enough? Would you ever do that? Buy a car without having the title in your hand? No. Because? Doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right. It would, well, what do you say? Maybe a deposit contingency on. Don't do it. Don't even, don't even finish the sentence going inside the courtroom. So what happened was after, it was a couple of weeks in, and then he started getting, I guess, anxious or, you know. A couple of weeks, yeah, because well, he wants wait, a well, title. For, no, so wait for the title. You never yeah. had the car. No. Right. No. You were waiting for a title to be able to take the car. But I had given him the $600 to right. for Right. So uh, why should he wait more than a couple of weeks for you to provide a clean title? Well, You're supposed to do that when you sell a car. Well, that was a decision Who's driving I made that afterwards. car right now? I have no idea. I donated it. For real, for real. For real, donated. Do you have the yes. donation pa paper? I don't have the donation. I, I donated. I just mm. donated the car. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You know, I have nothing. Right, to say. I mean, no. it's insanity. But the worst part is that then you donate the car when uh, it sounds like. He, how much were you going to pay for the car? Thirty-five hundred dollars. He was like no, really was, happy no, to pay well, the thirty-five dollars. He, he wasn't going to pay thirty-five hundred. At first, he wanted thirty-five. So and what we was this? Down to uh, I think it was twenty. 20-something. 20 20-something. 20 What's that, chump change for you? Like, I, I no, don't know, that no, sounds no, like no, good no, money. No. Don't after, that, after we went to the DMV that day, 
Um, because he waited so long, I said, I'll give you the car for $600. I was going to let him take the car home that day. But I didn't. Are you loaded? Like, what? what? No, no, I don't. No. You're not my usual clientele. Just here. because I wanted him to win. I don't usually have a guy who says, ah, you know what? The other 2000s on me. I don't usually it get that. It wasn't because of that. It was because he, he waited. I was trying to do something nice since he waited. So you told him you won't even have to pay anything else for the car? I did, yes. Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. I, like, it's no good, threw it out the title. Right. But if once you got the title, I would have taken it for free. Did but... he show you any? I know. <laughs> so did he show you any proof? Did he show you any proof of having received that of having applied for the title that day? No. We went you know, together. The line was too long. He says he went long. back that and same he, day. And then I brought him back home. He said he was his mom was going to take him, and his mom was going to give him the money to get it the title straight. Right. Out. And then. And then. I didn't hear from him for a while. So and he then, didn't tell you, hey, I went back, it's going to take X. No. So you just thought he was snowing you. And no, you just no wanted, totally. I absolutely yeah. told him. I told him that I went back for the title. We, were, we had an he agreement said that he, he would wait. He was going to go back to get the title, and we had to wait. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Again, here we go again. Here I don't know. Again. I might have waited for uh, a 2003 BMW for $600. I might have waited. Did you test drive it? <laughs> I didn't. But, oh, I test drive it. Yeah, oh, was it, it good? Was, it was nice, yeah. Ah, oh, seems like a real but after, shame. after waiting that long, I, I thought I was getting snowballed. I know. Snowballed. I just wanted my money it's back. It's worth a few honor. phone calls to the DMV, but okay. <laughs> money you shall have, because you're not allowed to sell a car that you don't have a clean title to. Um, so he, and he doesn't have to just wait forever. Uh, and it doesn't sound like he got, in, uh, und I mean, in my opinion, he should have been more patient because I'd take a BMW for 600 bucks. But um, under these circumstances, I cannot say that he cannot wait. Um, of course, as we're standing here, I only have your word for it that these are the things that happened to the car. For all I know, you did take a $600 and then you're driving the car yourself and, no, you know, I whatever. Have, I don't have the car. But anymore. I don't know any of that. So I am ordering you to go ahead. I think he was patient and I'm, I, I think that's long enough. And if you weren't able to provide clean title, don't sell it yet. Verdict for the plaintiff in the amount of the $600. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Your Honor. So the plaintiff will get his deposit back. Mr. Hughes, I can't think you're surprised, are you? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, uh, I thought it would have been drawn out a little bit, but, you know, it, it was just a bad situation, bad timing. and That's a okay. shame. Yeah, and you, you would have given it to him. I would have given it to him if he waited a little long. I just didn't that? have it on me. You know, the, I'll be yeah. doggone. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You must sign a few documents, and that's the way it goes. You've got to give him the 600 back. Mr. Fisher, no you know, as you think about it now, do you think you made the right choice? Uh, I don't believe he was going to give me the car. He conned me. He lied and lied the whole time beforehand, so why would he, he's gonna give me a car? I don't believe it. I don't know, six I don't to, eight to six weeks sounds like a I long know. time to get I, a title though, I doesn't was, it? Oh, it was totally long, Yeah, totally. It was even longer than that, I got news for you. He's full of malarkey that, you know. Well, he I seems like a nice him. guy, I don't know. Oh yeah. Did maybe. you ever get a car, another car? No, oh, another car, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with oh, what I have right yeah. now, thank okay. you. Well, good enough, congratulations. Thank so you very get much. Get your deposit back, right. Right. that's the way it goes. Okay, Harvey. Look, I mean, you know, what she was about to say, you know, get a deposit and you don't give them the rest. Of, don't do that. Do not, do not take that car or pay for that car unless that title is in your hands.